Karma Dickerson joining us live with what we're learning about the man accused in these crimes, Karma. Yes, Nikki, with as much as happened, it's hard to remember that this has really just unfolded over the course of one week, and it's had a profound impact on the community, so much so that when we started the court proceedings today, the judge said that there was something he had to disclose, and that it was that he only lives about half a mile from the second murder scene, and that his wife did think that she might have seen the suspect in the park and had to disclose that to police, so just an idea of just how many people are feeling the impact of what happened here. Is Carlos Reales Dominguez your true name? Mr. Dominguez? Yes. Is that your true name? Yes. Yes to the judge's questions were the only words we heard from the man accused of brutally attacking three people in Davis over the course of five days. Carlos Reales Dominguez is charged with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder, along with various enhancements for weapons and brutality. Special circumstances for multiple murders. The special circumstances make the 21-year-old eligible for the death penalty if convicted. His public defender entered not guilty pleas. Not guilty pleas to all counts and denials to all enhancements. The court proceedings did nothing to clarify what remains top of mind for many in the Davis community. If you're asking to try to understand it, well, okay, how do I understand I don't know. That's Richard Hauk, one of Reales Dominguez's neighbors. Hauk says the house where Reales Dominguez lived had a steady stream of renters, and he has never noticed the now accused serial killer. A neighbor across the street thinks the first time he can remember seeing the young man was Tuesday, hours before he was arrested. One of our neighbors and their daughter were coming by, and I said, you probably better go in because they're looking for somebody, and I think he might be on the porch over there. Reales Dominguez was a third-year student at UC Davis, studying biological sciences. According to online profiles, he went to high school in Oakland and wanted to be a doctor. An immigration and customs enforcement official tells us he's originally from El Salvador and first came to this country in 2009, crossing the border as an unaccompanied minor at just seven years old. He was released to family members, and immigration officials closed his case administratively in 2012, opting not to remove him, but also not giving him legal status. Are you coming? No one in court identified themselves as friends or relatives of Reales Dominguez. However, a small group left shortly after his case was heard. We don't know Carlos, one man said in Spanish. So why were you here, I asked them. And so we didn't get much of a response there. If you take a look and take a listen, really just a surprise. He seemed surprised to be that I responded to him in Spanish, but didn't acknowledge any connection. So no confirmation there. Nikki, at this point, what we know is that Dominguez Reales is being held without bail. His bail was initially set at $4 million, which as you know is pretty extraordinary, but the judge making the call that he didn't feel that any high number of bail would be enough to ensure that he would be present in court or that he would not be a danger to the community were he to get out. The question of were he to get out, as we mentioned, uh, his immigration status, according to Immigrations and Customs officials, they actually have a detainer on him. So in the event that he had been released on bail or was going to be in the community, let out of jail for whatever reason, ICE did have the authority to collect him. And so uh, that is where things stand right now. Of course, so much more to come in this case. The next court appearance scheduled for late May. Reporting from Woodland, I'm Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News. Karma